Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the Damasek unofficial build for OnePlus One. If you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I am running Damasek unofficial version for 9.4 which is based on Sanjay 12 and then on top of Android 5.0.2. So first of all, the, if you look at the launcher, it's using the Google Now launcher kind of launcher. Uh, now uh, look at the basic phone features like phone this is the dialer lollipop dialer and uh, messaging app with all the settings here and then stock browser from the CM12 and here is about the camera this is the Google camera you can find here and then gallery app notifications uh, if you look at the uh, settings options if you can see and see notification bar if you flip to pull down the notification bar you will get all this information click on that one will open the calendar and other applications and uh, clicking on that option will bring the battery so you can change your battery mode from there so is that if, uh, if you click on that one you can change the quest mode it's all working fine no pro no troubles at all and you can see other toggles so if you click on the settings options there, there is a search option so you can search for the settings here which is introduced in Olivo Pro and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, network, these options are like uh, stock in every CM12 builds. Other sound options, display and light options, themes, these settings you will get almost all the CM12 ROMs. So here is the theme option, you can change almost all aspects of the theme from here. Lock screen, buttons. Now with the navigation button, if you need one navigation buttons, you can opt for it. Another button customizations you can do from here. And then gesture, of, uh, gesture. These are this is the three a screen of gestures. Battery, security, and then the users option we also already discussed. Home okay, you can choose the launcher status bar. You can customize all the aspects of the status bar options from here. Like you can play with this clock, date, everything, and battery circle. If you need circle, you can go for it. And if you want to see the percentage, you can go for it. And then uh, there is a battery bar. If you want to show the battery bar on the notification area, uh, status bar area, you can do that also. brightness control to use brightness control over the status bar you can opt for this one brightness control and show notification count super issue indicator show blow to the icon everything is there so that's all about the status bar and then notification drawer you can select the all the notification tiles you can add tiles from here slim actions vibrate and then quick pull down options so this is the quick pull down option you can customize that also auto glass panel brightness details everything is there so here is the Tamara spare parts so this is exclusive Tamara uh, features like app circle bar if you turn on app circle bar you will get an app circle bar here so this is the app circle bar you can click on that one and then open that one and here you can add the applications you want to enable the app circle bar and you can also customize the trigger areas now let's see heads up display if you want the heads up display so the notification will come as an heads up display here you can add do not disturb other blacklist in the internet 
next one is the clock widget uh, clock and alarm widget you can customize all these clock and alarm widgets from here weather panel so this, this is all about the uh, C clock customization so you can do all the customization to the C clock and then display options you can see the you can change the density like uh, currently it's 480 you can change to any range then gesture anywhere using gesture anywhere you can uh, add you can open applications from by adding applications to here gesture anywhere and here you can customize gesture anywhere trigger positions so that's gesture anywhere now look at the lock screen lock screen widget better you can add lock screen colors you can change middle screen shortcuts if you want to add you can do that bottom control shortcuts as well if you want to see the, the review contact so you can see this is the middle screen shortcuts then if you need uh, bottom corner shortcuts like this you can add this one as well if you want to change that one so, so the, these are the, the stock three icons you can change that as well so you can even customize that options So next recent panel so this is the recent panel by the way this is stock recent panel if you want to change to omni switch you can opt for that one so here you can see this is the omni switch from there if you click this one it will close all the windows if you click this one it will close uh, the, all the windows other than the one running on the foreground and then switch applications menu settings and then see all the applications from here back button and pin so this is the omni switch you can also trigger the omni switch from this one also so if you swipe this one the omni switch will come and if you don't want for the recent menu you can just click it off so you will come to the stock recent menu so that's about the omni switch and then screen and animations you can customize the screen animations at least view animations are all from here Demonstrations which can be record options as well. And uh, smart control, it's like a tag call in there. So if you lift the phone when incoming call coming, it will all automatically call the person. And uh, next option is like a system profile apps so from apps this is the app manager besides that almost all options are like uh, it's there in almost all cm 12 bins like accounts privacy location date and time accessibility storage and language i can show you the, all the supported languages here it supports almost all the languages from the world so it's good and other options and the printing option backup and reset super SU performance you can customize and the develop options and if you go to the about page you can see almost all the access of the phone all the details from the phone itself so that is there and if you click on the Menu icon, you can see audio effects is there to customize the effect for your USB, Bluetooth, wireless, all the devices. You can turn it on and then change the equalizer. So is that. This is browser, uh, calculator, calendar, C clock, documents, and uh, CM file manager here. Gallery. Hangouts dialer comes with this ROM. Hangout as well. So this both applications comes with this ROM. And then this is the stock uh, 
the music player comes with this room it's very neat and you'll get this omni switch button from here as well so there are options like themes and everything discussed so that's it uh, if you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the description to show you that. This, is, this ROM is very stable, no bugs and nothing is there except uh, there is not the uh, OnePlus One camera, that's it. Other than that, everything is working perfect. Just go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.